That's what's happening today, which is what I think all of these events, all of these psychic events, which we're taking as visitors from outer space, if you don't understand the psychic world and the power of the unconscious to project a vision into your mind and around you with others too at some times in terms of a collective vision that is so real, you know it's special. It has all the characteristics of reality except you know it's extra special, something is happening, there's a truth to the event, and you know it's not this reality. So, so, so what's happening is, it says people have no awareness as the ancient preliterate man did of the depth of the other world, the psychic world, the unseen world. They have to take it as visitors from outer space are coming to tell them something. It's, it's from inner space is coming to tell them something. We are changing. And that's what those circles and triangles are. And that's the completeness. The circle is the symbol for completeness, the triangle is something like that too. And all of the abductions have exactly the same characteristics as you have in visions. You can never quite get real definite information from the visitors. You can't pin it down because you don't live in a world of time and space. Their intelligent feelings, that's what, that, that, that's what the unconscious is, and they, when they press upon consciousness, they take figure. And what the conscious mind does, it's a miracle, it just gets the best fit it can. And the best fit for most people today is from outer space. Mm -hmm. But it's also interesting if you study, we, 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 we spoke about Julian James the other day, James goes back to the preliterate people who heard voices. And one of the ways that they used to, he says, when he goes back 10, 15,000 years, 6,000 years, in terms of he found little figurines in every house, which were the ancestor gods, or with, let's call them the ancestor gods, okay? But he thinks that they used them in order to get into that state where they could hear the voices, even though they're very close to it. But as they're approaching four or 6,000 BC, they're starting to lose it, okay? The, that kind of membrane between the conscious and unconscious mind starts to thicken until today we have, a, we, we have a broken wall between the two. It's almost impossible to break through for most people, but they will swear it doesn't exist. They never dream, people will tell you. They've never had an intimation or a voice or a vision or nothing, but you know, that's probably true. But it's there, and in fact, they'll know it on the day of their death because it's going to come up and it's going to consume their conscious mind and they'll go off into the life force. But, but the thing that he says about it is if you look at all the statues, they have one characteristic, huge almond eyes and no mouth. It's almost universal. And that's the way that, 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 that he thinks that that's how the... That's how the human conscious mind, back 6,000 or 7,000 years ago, when these intelligent presences came up that had no body, that the way that the conscious mind made them visible was to give them big eyes, meaning they saw everything. And today, that, that same archetype that, that our people who come to visit us, the aliens, all have that same characteristic, and no mouth. It's this, that's a period of 8,000 years, you know. You could say, oh, well, those people in 6,000 years ago, they, they were all visited by aliens too. No, but, but there's no evidence of that in any of the things. It just seems to be something in terms of ancestor worship, and it was there all throughout Turkey and all throughout the Sumerian countries, so, the huge big eyes. This was way before they reached the empire stage where you have all that great carving in Babylonia and in Sumeria and in Egypt, big eyes. <coughs> so there's a connection between the two and it's the way that the conscious mind makes sense of people who know big eyes. They see everything. Okay? Well, it's a translation, mean? it's a metaphor. Hmm. See? So it was happening 6,000 years ago, 8,000 years ago too, and everybody had one of those little statues in their mind because they would look at it and they would allow that, they would call that presence up, that non-physical presence, the all-seeing presence was a reminder. 